As we come on the air, we are following two major news alerts out of Hillsborough County. This is 10 Tampa Bay. I'm Courtney Robinson. And I'm Josh Sidorowicz. Governor Ron DeSantis announcing today that he is suspending state attorney Andrew Warren, claiming that Warren selectively picked the types of laws he wanted to enforce. But that didn't stop Warren from continuing to work today as he announced new information in a cold case that we have been following for years now. He says the governor's move purely political and reaction is pouring in tonight as groups are expected to protest this evening. I haven't even looked at the order yet because I woke up to do my job today and that's exactly what I did. There is a lot to break down here. So we have team coverage of the announcement, reactions, and the new details on the case his office was investigating. Let's start with Eric Glasser, who is live outside of the state attorney's office. And Eric, you heard from the governor and from Warren today. Yep, in fact, Courtney, we just heard from Warren a few minutes ago. He says he intends to fight this, filing in state court as early as tomorrow. And as you said, tonight here in downtown Tampa, a demonstration planned by those who support him. Today, we are suspending state attorney Andrew Warren effective immediately. His supporters applauded the announcement from Governor Ron DeSantis suspending Hillsborough State Attorney Andrew Warren. The governor decided Warren's public vow not to prosecute certain criminals and his public stance on hot button political issues like gender and more recently abortion. But when you take office, you swear to uphold the laws and constitution of the state of Florida. And so if you're not doing that, uh, well, then that's something we need to have uh, accountability and recourse for. DeSantis surrounded himself with members of law enforcement who also criticized Warren as having been soft on crime. There aren't Republican and Democratic victims, just victims. DeSantis replaced Warren, at least temporarily, with his own appointee, Hillsborough Judge Susan Lopez. Lopez was also a former prosecutor in Hillsborough. I will follow the rule of law. When we heard from Warren just a few minutes ago, he said this, I am a duly elected official in Hillsborough County. Warren says this is again politically motivated. Here's some of what he told us. I was shocked at the blatant violation of one of the most fundamental principles of our democracy, that the people, the voters, get to elect elected officials. I've been elected twice to serve as state attorney, and I've served as state attorney, and I've done it well. Crime is down. We're protecting people's rights. We have fought so hard for public safety and fairness and justice. If the governor thinks he can do a better job, then he should run for state attorney, not president. Again, as early as tomorrow, uh, Warren will be filing what's called a writ quo warranto. That is essentially asking a judge in the state of Florida to direct a state official, that state official in this case, Governor DeSantis, that he has acted outside his authority. The argument from Warren is, is that despite what DeSantis has said here is that Warren has never acted outside his prosecutorial discretion. He says he might say that he's going to do something in the future. Somebody might say he put pen to paper and promised he would rule on a particular law one way. But those haven't come across his desk yet. And so the argument is he hasn't done anything that would give the governor the firepower to do what he did today. Again, a demonstration here in downtown Tampa coming up within the hour. Reporting live in downtown Tampa, Eric Glasser, 10 Tampa Bay. And Eric, uh, Tampa's mayor was among those who sounded off on the governor's actions today. 10 Investigates Jennifer Titus here in studio now with some context to what we are hearing. Yeah, we've heard from leaders both here in the Bay Area and beyond in response to the governor's move to suspend Warren. Tampa mayor and former police chief Jane Castor says removing a duly elected official should be based on egregious actions, not on political statements. Tampa remains one of the safest cities of its size in the nation, thanks to the hard work and cooperation between our police officers and law enforcement officers. The latest available data from FDLE shows that while crime in Hillsborough County dropped from 2019 to 2020, violent crime went up 85%. The state defines violent crimes as murders, rapes, robberies, 
and aggravated assaults. The Democratic National Committee released this response saying the move is fundamentally un-American and a clear demonstration of what extremes DeSantis will go to infringe on Floridians' freedoms. While not everyone is happy about it, Florida state constitution does allow a governor to suspend state or county officers who are found to be neglecting their duties, among other things. The state Senate gets to judge the merits of the suspension and can reinstate anybody the governor suspends. We got statements today from the two Democratic frontrunners hoping to win this month's primary and battle DeSantis in November. Their perspectives, plus what I've learned about the judge the governor appointed to fill Warren's job for now ahead at six.